So let's move on to Think Tank. Okay, so that's the other conference that's happening right now. Think Tank is a mystery. It's a mystery. Okay, it's a very private thing. Think Tank I've been hearing about for years, right? It's one of those things when I was coming up, before I even worked for SCE, right? I would hear about it and I'm like, whoa, like what's Think Tank? Like, you know, my boss at the time didn't know. They're like, oh, it's just, you know, whatever. They just, they just do whatever. Like, he didn't know what that was going on, right? You know, nobody knows. It's like very secretive. You, ha- you, you can't, there's no way. There's like a website, but it's like super shitty. You know what I mean? There's no real way to like contact them or there's not like a way to you just go buy a ticket for this. It's not how it works. This is Think Tank. Think Tank is... They do do a conference, right? They do, um, they do a get together, right? Like it's happening this week in Hilton Head, South Carolina, right? They choose a different location every year. So that once a year, they do a big, um, you know, kind of get together for Think Tank. But it's, it's not just like a conference. It, it's an organization, right? You belong to Think Tank, right? Think Tank, I don't know how many members. I would guesstimate they have between maybe 30 and 40 members tops around that area, right? And it's a, it's a, um, What's the word? It's a it's a it's a, a congregation. I don't know. It's a group of people that all are successful DJ uh, business owners in in some capacity. Most of them own multi ops. Most of them are full time, if not all of them. Most of them are multi. They own their businesses are multi millions of dollars, right? And they basically all belong to this secretive kind of group. It's almost like DJ Illuminati, you know. That's kind of what I called it for years. And I, I told them this. I was like, when I went, I'll tell you about it, you know. And they they laughed, but like, it's like this secretive group, and they they bounce ideas off of each other. They they coach each other in different aspects of business because some of you know they, there's all kinds of different types of like DJ businesses, different models, and everything within this group. So you know they 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 really help each other out in that aspect. They do uh, meetings, and you know basically you know they they just meet up and talk about new trends and new this and everything else. And then they do one big conference once a year, a big week, uh, you know, week long conference where they bring in speakers and they, uh, they basically like plan all this fun shit to do for like everybody in the think tank group. Right. So it's pretty cool. And I was invited to, to speak out there. So, so, so I don't want to name any names or whatever. You guys just Google and figure it out. Right. Cause I don't want to like, I, you know, I don't want Illuminati after me. <laughs> <laughs> you timed us out, man. Like nobody knows I'm in. Like whatever. I don't know. I don't know how that shit works. I'm not gonna name any names. But someone saw me do a seminar at Midwest DJs Live in 2019, and I did this mixing seminar where I like I had turntables and I live showed everybody like how to mix and you know went through all kinds of stuff and and it went really well. And the guy came up to me and he was like, "Hey, man, I'm a part of Think Tank." And I was like, "Ooh, I heard of you. I heard of Think Tank, right?" And he's like, "Yeah, Think Tank. That Think Tank." And I would love to bring you out to do this exact seminar for all the people of Think Tank. And I'm like, fuck yeah, I'll come, right? So then I went. So I got to go to Think Tank for free, for free 99, right? And so I show up, I show up at Think Tank and I do my seminar. And first of all, the production's crazy, right? It's for like, I think there's maybe 30 people at the one I went to, 30 something people. And it's just like LED, like, like video walls and just the best production, the best, like everything you ever wanted as a speaker. If you speak live anywhere, like monitors and switchers and every, it's just so good. Like their production's ridiculous. Cause someone in there is like really big into production, like the, one of the biggest in the country. So they had that plug. Right. And so they do all these, they have bring all these people in some, sometimes there's a lot of DJs to give in seminars there, right? Sometimes, uh, their own members will do seminars. Sometimes they bring outside people like me, right. To come in and do a seminar, right. And help out if it's like something that's super useful and different. Then they also bring in regular people kind of seminars, right? Like, like, the, like outside of the industry, just for inspiration. Like this year, this is off their Instagram, by the way. So if you go to, uh, Instagram, what happened here? So, um, if you go to their Instagram, uh, you, you, I, I found this like on their Instagram or whatever. Someone shared it. Uh, th- they have this guy. Uh, he's the owner of the Savannah ban- Bananas. There's a minor league, and I'm, I'm looking. I'm like, this guy looks like the Penguin. Like, what? What is this? What? Why would this? Is what they're having a think tank, right? But of course, I look deep into it, and it's like the coolest shit ever. This guy started a minor league team in Savannah, Georgia, called the Bananas. <laughs> And they like change the rules of the game. Like if, if, if like essentially 
Uh, it's all different rules to make baseball more fun. Like if, the, if someone in the crowd catches a, f- a, a, a foul ball, you know, it's an automatic out for the actual thing. Like the crowd gets to vote who gets to pitch like crazy shit. Like, right. And, um, and he's the yellow tux Jesse guy. He owns a Savannah ba- bananas and he's talking about how like he's, you know, innovating the game of baseball and they literally sell out every week apparently. And they crush life. I, I read up on this guy and it's like so interesting. So he did a whole seminar. So but it's just an example. This is what, this is what happened with them yesterday. Right. They bring in these crazy people, you know what I mean? It's just interesting. Right. And then they, they, they plan all these like excursions, you know, where you go and eat like the local food or you go to do, see this cool site and you do all this touristy stuff, but it's all planned out. They have shuttles, they have buses that bring everybody, they have meals planned. It's just so cool. It was like I was back in high school on a school trip, you know, or back in college where we used to take these trips or whatever, you know, and everything was planned. And you just got to ride along and have a great time and drink on the bus. Like it was just, I had the time of my life at Think Tank. Like it was so much fun, you know, and I, I, I kind of wish they invited me this year. Like, you know, obviously not going to have me speak two years in a row or because they didn't have it last year, but um, it was just the time of my life. Anyway, now if you want to get into Think Tank, this is how it works though. Okay. So, cause you're part of an organization. So you have to contribute to the organization. So you got to be at a certain level, right? So I highly recommend, first of all, follow DJ Think Tank on Instagram. Okay. That's the only real place I can find them. So they have two posts and right now they're posting stuff. So you can kind of like, you know, do your own research and sniff through and figure out who's there, right? Reach out to people in Think Tank, figure out who's in Think Tank. Okay. Figure out who's in it, figure it out for yourself. Okay. There's a lot of DJs. Maybe you know somebody in Think Tank. Definitely have to have a great online presence before you hit them up. Same thing with Engage, right? Right. The, just like what I said with Engage, you got to have a great online presence. You can't be, um, you know, you can't be hitting them up and then you're really, you know, that they're going to look at that, right? Because they want to know that you can contribute to the book, to um, to the group, right? Because it's a group. It's a collective. It's not just like a conference. It's a collective that they help each other out. And then with that being said, you have to have an established business, right? I, highly, I think like, I don't know if you have to be full time, but like, you know, that's definitely a plus multi-op doing well, something because that, you know, you have a successful business, you have something you can contribute to that group, right? That, that's what I think they're looking for, right? They want someone that can contribute, right? Someone that's going to be a valuable member of think tank. Cause that's the whole, they're a collective. That's how they work. Right. And to get in, I think, so basically you have to find someone that's in it that, you know, or get introduced to them. And then contact them. And the only way to get into Think Tank, to my knowledge, is like someone in Think Tank has to recommend you. And then they have a board meeting because there's a board on Think Tank and everything. They're like an organization. Like they have structure, right? It's like a legit, like mafia type structure, right? You know, there's like a head boss and all that, you know, and they vote on the head boss every year, I think, or some shit. I don't know. But... Then they have a meeting about you and they check you out. Obviously, they vet the shit out of you, right? What's your business? What, you know, how much they think you're making? Are you successful? Are you, wh- where are you at in your competition? You know, what do you do? What, what are your personal values? All that shit. They vet the hell out of you, right? And then if they um, decide that you might be a good fit, then they bring you in and then you have to interview with everybody. You literally interview to be in the think tank, which is crazy. And then you go through all these interviews and then I think you have to like, I don't know, lick a banana and sacrifice a goat or whatever. I don't know about that stuff because like I never got into think tank, but like some crazy shit, right? And then once you do all that, <laughs> I'm kidding, okay? I just who knows, but, but maybe I don't know. Well, DJ Illuminati, who knows? But anyway, you, then once you do all that, then they can accept you in the group. Then you become a member of think tank, and then it costs per year, right? So being a think tank costs per year. So I think it's um, I have the uh, cost here. I think it's three thousand. This is my estimation, by the way, three thousand to $5,000 per year to be a part of Think Tank. And it includes the one, the, the week conference that they do every year. I think like that's, that's my estimation. I don't know for sure though. Don't take this to the bank. It could be more, could be a little less. I don't know. My estimation is three to 5K. I think that's like right where it's at because it helps, you know, it pays for the conference you guys do that week, you know, that they do that week and everything. It pays for the organization and they have like a treasurer and and all that. And, and they also too, they also secure think tank pricing for everything, which is crazy. So they have relationships with all the vendors, every like major manufacturer. So any product you want, essentially, you just go and show your whatever think tank tattoo that you have to get on your ass or however that works. And then, and then they give you the think tank pricing, which is literally like wholesale from what I hear. Okay. From what I hear, like when I was at think tank, um, I'm not going to say who or what, but like, uh, they brought a product at think tank, like the actual manufacturer went there with a product and they had it in the hand right there before, like months before it came out, like literally months before it came out. Like I was like, Whoa, what's that? And they're like, this comes out in August, but you can't tell anybody. 
You know what I mean? And I guess everybody in think tanks on an NDA, so you're good. They didn't make me sign an NDA, but like I still kept my mouth shut because you know who knows? Maybe they got hitmen in think tank. Who knows? Okay, who knows how these? Listen, I'm, my people, you know, I know how my people work with the with the with the family and, and everything. I know I know how the, the, my Italian people work. I'm not stupid, okay? So I kept my mouth shut. All right. So I'm just being very I'm being very vague with a lot of this stuff. But this is this is what I know, okay? You know, like they they got connections. These people, it's crazy stuff. So I don't know. I highly recommend if you're serious, if you're full time, if you love this business and you think you have something to contribute, I highly recommend you know doing some research and seeing if you can get in this because I, I think it's a great thing. But um, you know, it's not easy. Okay, it's not easy, and you got to be ready. Don't 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 go sniffing around and applying when you're not ready because you'll just you know once you get a no, who knows? Maybe it's just like one no and that's it. You know. Just, just once you get the first no, you're never allowed in ever, ever. Hmm. I don't know. Crazy shit. But that's a little glimpse. And I, and I did this because, again, I, I always wondered about this, and nobody talks about it. Okay. Nobody told me nothing. I sniffed around forever. What's think tank? What's this? Nobody would tell me nothing. Yeah, whatever, kid. Right. It wasn't until. You know, I, I, I started making videos and then like I got an opportunity to speak this place and then they saw me and whatever. You know what I mean? It just happened by accident. But like, you know, I, I was always curious. So I figured I'd fill you guys in, you know, and these are these are both things. Engage and Think Tank are both very valuable things. You know what I mean? For sure. For any business, no matter where you're at. You know what I mean? So I would I would say it should be pretty much any DJ's goal to kind of get into things like this. You know, what I mean, this is like the the upper echelon of stuff in, in, in what we do. And, and it, obviously, it's great, um, you know, networking. Everybody in Think Tank, they're all bosses. They're all legit. Like they know their shit. You'll learn a lot. You know what I mean? Everyone, it's it's the top of the top in there. So. You know, it's definitely cool. De definitely cool stuff.